police lieutenant to Alvastas, the officer in charge of the computer forensic section and mobile device forensic section of the Digital Forensic Unit, Philippine National Police Anti-Cybercrime Group. Since 2020, when we won the Samori Gives Back campaign, Natalino has helped us a lot in our digital forensic investigation from all sorts of crime, from petty theft, illegal online lending, and even human trafficking and child pornography cases. This year, we had two major police operations on a human trafficking hub run by international syndicates. We were able to rescue more than 2,000 foreign nationals and seize more than 2,000 computers. From that, we examined 100 computers and found several digital evidence that could incriminate the suspects. Some of the suspects are now repatriated in their own countries and they will be facing charges based on their existing laws. As of today, the rescued foreign nationals are back to their home country together with their loved ones. Acting on a tip and armed with a search warrant, over a thousand cops raided this compound in Las Piñas City. Based on the information, seven buildings inside the compound are housing suspected human trafficking victims. Dalawa lamang po ang merong uh, uh, permit. Ito po yung mga registered pogo, but the rest po ay wala po. At ang search warrant po natin ay 12. Pito po dyan is yung search warrant po for violation po ng 9208 o yung pong trafficking in persons. Yung uh, lima naman po dyan ay yung pong uh, search warrant to examine Digital, uh, digital data. Police discovered hundreds of foreign employees, many of them believed to be undocumented. They're working 12 hours. Wala akong narinig na reklamo sa kanila na uh, maltreatment. Okay daw ang food nila and then they are given the salary. And yung iba nga allowed to go out once a week, pero yung iba hindi. If they do not have the documents, then they are not allowed to go out. According to PNP, they rescued about 2,700 alleged human trafficking victims. Nearly 1,200 were foreigners, while Filipino workers numbered a little over 1,500. Filipino natin, the time of the service of warrants sa area, so they are now in included dun sa victims. Okay. Yung mga inabutan sila na part ng subject ng warrants, they're conducting yung profiling. An investigation of the PNP anti-cybercrime group reveals the employees were promised jobs in an online casino. But authorities suspect they are running scams. Yung mga traces or evidence na ginamit siya sa love scam, sa investment scam, or cryptocurrency scams. So everything will be investigated. The lawyer of the building's tenant, however, insists his client's operations are legal. They are licensed and the same time they are being inspected by, by Pagcor. In the meantime, authorities also found guns, ammunition, as well as cash from the compound. The police have also contacted the Bureau of Immigration and several embassies to help them in the investigation. With the Samori Talinos capability, we were able to image multiple hard drives and examine those images in half the time. Since time is not on our side because we need to submit the digital forensic examination report to the court in order to prosecute the arrested suspects. On behalf of the Philippine National Police Anti-Cybercrime Group, I would like to thank and congratulate Simone for a job well done for making digital forensic easy for us digital forensic examiners. More power to the people behind Simone and may you continue to hone your craft in order to help other law enforcement agencies.